Hi, I am Hassan Fazal and today we are discussing payoff tables and decision rules. Risk and uncertainty add a layer of complexity and complication to the decision making process. In order to manage risk and uncertainty, we use different decision making techniques and these decision making techniques are either probability based or non-probability based. Non-probability based techniques are much easier to maintain as they require less information and therefore take lesser entities resources. And they are usually not much complex and are easier to understand also. One of the easier ways under non-probability based techniques is by determining the different alternatives available to the decision maker. Such decision analysis starts by determining the different alternatives available. Once the different alternatives are determined, we will determine the different possible scenarios for each alternative. Once we have the information about alternatives and the different scenarios that can arise under each alternative, we need to find a way to arrange both alternatives and scenarios in a meaningful manner so that decision maker can decide which alternative to take up. One of such method to arrange alternatives and scenarios in a meaningful manner is using payoff tables. Payoff tables arrange alternatives, scenarios and resulting payoffs in a tabular form. Such arrangement helps decision makers easily decide among different alternatives by considering different scenarios and resulting payoffs. Whereas payoffs are simply expected values or estimates that we have made using the available information. Scenarios are usually divided in three categories. They are either best possible, worst possible or most likely possible scenarios. Alternatives usually take up the columns and are arranged from top to bottom, whereas scenarios usually take up the rows and are arranged from left to right. The cells linking both alternatives and scenarios contain expected values or simply payoffs. These payoffs can either be profits, returns, cost, revenues, or just any figure that is necessary for the decision making process. Here is one example where projects and their resulting payoffs under each scenario are arranged in a tabular form. However, arrangement of alternatives and scenarios can interchange also, with scenarios taking up the columns and alternatives taking up the rows. Here is the payoff table with the same three projects that we have seen earlier with different arrangement of alternatives and scenarios. Here are the two possible arrangements together for easily understanding how the values are arranged. The way different alternatives are analyzed is heavily influenced by individual's attitude towards risk, also called risk preference. A risk taker who has an optimistic approach thinks that best can happen and therefore consider the best outcomes only. His effort will be to maximize the possible benefits under a situation and thus takes more risk. On the other hand, risk avoider who has a pessimistic approach thinks worst can happen, therefore pays more attention to worst outcomes and his effort will be to minimize the possible loss by taking lesser risk. A risk neutral person who has a balanced approach stays neutral and considers all best, worst and most likely outcomes and tries to balance the benefit and losses with the risk. Considering the three different types of attitude decision makers can have while deciding about the situation, we can relate three different types of decision rules to each attitude. Just like we have three different types of attitudes, we have three different types of decision rules. First one is Maximax, which is a choice of a risk taker. Second one is Maximin, which is going to be a choice of risk avoider. And lastly, Minimax Regret Rule, 
which will be the choice of risk neutral person. Just for a reminder, these decision making techniques does not involve probability factors and take the help of payoff tables to solve the situation. So let's discuss Maximax decision making technique. Maximax is a short for maximizing the maximum possible outcome. Under this technique, we consider only the best possible payoff under each alternative. Here we have one example where we are given with three projects double A, double B, and double C. We will start off with project double A and select the best possible outcome, which is 980. Once we have analyzed double A, we will move to project double B and determine the maximum possible payoff. And in case of double B, the maximum possible payoff is 620. Under project double C, the maximum possible payoff is 410. And 410 will be selected. Once the best possible payoffs under each alternative are selected, we will select the one that is the maximum among those best possible outcomes. And in this case, the best possible outcome is given by project AA. Therefore, the decision will be to take up project AA. Next is Maximin, which is a short for maximizing the minimum possible outcome. Under this technique, we will select the worst possible outcomes under each alternative and later select the project that gives the maximum payoff under the worst selected. Here we have the same example that we have seen under Maximax. We will start with project AA and select the worst possible payoff, which is a $100 loss. Next, in case of project B. The worst possible payoff is 150. So 150 will be selected. For project double C, the worst possible outcome is 50, and therefore the same will be selected. Once the worst possible outcomes are selected, we will go with the project that gives us the maximum payoff among these worst outcomes. And in this case, project double B is giving us the maximum payoff. Therefore, the decision will be to take up project double B. The third technique is minimax regret rule and is a little more complex than the earlier two techniques. Minimax regret rule is a short for minimizing the maximum possible regret. Regret is simply the opportunity of maximizing the return lost by selecting an alternative other than the best one. One of the important concepts to remember is that regret is calculated along scenarios by comparing the option opted and the best possible option under that scenario. Regret for best option available in one scenario is always going to be zero. Let's understand this with an example. Here we have again the same situation that we have discussed under Maximax and Minimax decision techniques. Under Minimax regret rule, we prepare a regret table. As I mentioned earlier, regret calculation is done along scenarios. So unlike Maximax and Maximin decision techniques where we were comparing the figures from top to bottom, here we will be comparing the figures from left to right along the scenarios. So we will start with the best possible scenario. And in this scenario, the best payoff is given by project AA. If project AA is selected, the regret will be zero. If we select project B instead of project AA, we will earn only 620, which is $360 less than the return possible under project AA. So our regret is minus 360. Same way, if project C is selected, our regret is going to be 570. 
Next is most possible scenario. Under this scenario, again, project double A is giving us the maximum payoff, which is 550. Selecting project double A will give us zero regrets. However, if project double B is selected instead of project double A, our regret will be 61. And if project double C is selected, our regret will be 161. Under worst possible scenario, the maximum payoff is by project double B. Selecting project double B, our regret will be zero. Whereas if project double A is selected, our regret will be 250. And for project double C, it will be 100. Once the calculation is done, we need only regret table to decide about the project we need to take up. So let's get rid of the equations and have the values only. Remember, under minimax regret rule, we will try to minimize the maximum possible regret. So we have three projects, double A, double B, and double C. Under project double A, the maximum regret possible is of minus 250. Whereas under project double B, the maximum regret is minus 360. For project double C, the maximum regret is 570. Now that we have the maximum regret figures under each of the projects, we will go with that project which is giving us the minimum possible regret under these maximum selected. And in this case, it is by project double A. Therefore, the decision will be to take a project double A. This concludes our discussion on decision rules, risk preferences, and payoff tables. Hope you have understood the lecture and see you in the next one.